Hey guys, I'm Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be teaching you how to speak Patois. If you guys did not know, I was born in Jamaica. I've been here since I was a year old and I definitely still speak the language because that's really all my parents speak. So I thought it would be fun to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on the language. I know so many people love the country, so many people love the language and want to be able to speak it. So I'm just going to freestyle and give you guys a couple of statements that you can say just for fun. All right. So say for instance, you wanted to say, what are the kids doing? All right. So you would say, uh, what are putting them over there? Okay. So it's kind of like English, but it's, it's broke. It's broken English. It's kind of, it's mixed with a lot of things. Like sometimes um, I hear people say certain words in Spanish, but it actually means something. The same word we use it, but it means something else in Patua. So, okay, let's try another statement. Let us say that we wanted somebody to go to the store. So I'm asking my friend Keisha to go to the store. So I'm just gonna say, hey Keisha, come go out shop for me, okay? So, hey Keisha, come go out shop for me. See what I'm saying? Like it's just, come go to the shop for me. So it's still English, but it's broken and it's very, uh, kind of like Creole to a sense because I noticed when people in New Orleans speak, they sound very much like us when we speak Patwa. So, okay, so let's say, um, let's see, what's another good one? Okay, so I want to go on vacation. Mwango Pan Holiday. Okay, so people, they say holiday, instead of saying a vacation, they say a holiday. And I noticed that the UK, I mean, well, of course the UK does because we used to be a part of the UK until we got our independence. So they say, I want to go on holiday and stuff like that there. So that's what you would say um, as a Jamaican person. So um, let's say let's say something a little bit more funny. Let's say that you were threatening somebody, right? And you're telling them you about to punch them in their face. So you're gonna say, "Hey, girl, I'm thump in your face." You know, you it's like with this aggression, but you're saying they say thump instead of punch. So um, that's one that I I use all the time when I'm talking to certain people. But um, yeah, so I'll do one more, and um, let's see. I'm really just flinging this out off the top of my head. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I haven't been to see my grandmother in a long time. You know, like I'm gonna go see my granny, or you know, like I'm gonna go look for my granny. You know, so again, if, if you listen really closely, um, you can you can pretty much speak it. I know my brothers. Um, the lady that he has kids with, she can pretty much speak it because she's been in our family for uh, like 20 years, 21 years at this point. And um, she went to Jamaica recently, her first time there, and she was able to fit in, order certain foods, and just do whatever it is that she wanted to do or needed to do while she was there. So um, yeah, it's it's not a real hard language to learn at all. Spanish is also another easy language to learn. So I thought that this would be fun to share and hopefully it helped you a little bit. If you have anything else that you'd like for me to say or interested in learning to say, you can leave that in the comments as well. I'd love to answer um, your questions and share a little bit more of the language with you. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Love you guys so, so, so much. Make sure that you subscribe and that you comment and that you share the video with a friend. Yeah, man. <laughs>